Well, leaky ceilings can be a big distraction when you're trying to pay attention in class. News 8 Now's Dua Israr joins us live in the studio with UW Lacrosse's plans to renovate a building that's nearly 57 years old. Dua? Tyler, Cowley Hall was built in 1965. In recent years, the building has faced issues with air circulation, leaks, and flooding. UWL has plans to construct a new building, but former interim president of the University of Wisconsin System, Tommy Thompson, says the process is taking too long. Water damage, flooding, outdated classrooms. It's falling apart. University of Wisconsin Lacrosse is looking to demolish Cowley Hall and begin the second phase of its process in updating its science buildings. Uh, we can really do a, a lot more. Um, this is a really important project for us and for our students. During the initial proposal, one out of two buildings were approved for construction. The first phase was completed in 2018. The project was really only half finished. Former interim president of the UW system, Tommy Thompson, says the second building's construction should have been approved in the first phase. And all this time in between is over arguments and who's got the responsibility. Thompson says the state needs to improve its process for approving funding for college buildings. It takes way too long, costs way too much money. Faculty say a new building is necessary for students' education. Having the right space to do that in is also very, very important for them. The proposal for the new building has made it to Governor Tony Evers' budget, but it will be sent to the Budget Committee because of a split vote from the State Building Commission. Tyler? All right, thanks a lot, Joe. And the, project, the project is expected to cost $110 million.